Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Dreamfall Chapters. When I left off, we completed some type of test, found an assassin, and also, we saw Na'ane. Also, apparently, uh, uh, Kian's, uh, first, and, uh, one of the, in his, one of his mentors is in town, and they knew. But we're gonna go confront oh, sorry, Na'ane. Sorry, I had no choice, but... Like threaten me and my family and my livelihood. That still doesn't explain why you were at the National Front meeting. Oh, I had to keep up appearances. And it's where I'd meet with Lyandra. I'd report to him about what was going on in Old Town. He'd ask me questions about certain people, magicals, suspected rebels. But I didn't tell him everything. I swear. I only did what I had to do to protect my family. Please, please believe me, I have no choice. Oh, so they're interrogating the guy. He had no choice. He had to protect his, his family's being threatened. Hmm. Naane, I need to talk to you. Can I shut, the, oh, there's no door. Naane. I've been expecting you. Of course Why you did you protect me in there? Why not tell them what I did? I called her a traitor, but are we so different? It was her portal that helped me escape the keep. She healed my wounds. She knew I might expose her, and yet... Yet she saved my life. I only had a moment to decide. That's not enough time to weigh a person's life. I have no intention of protecting her secrets, but her selfless actions granted me a second chance. At the very least, she deserves to be heard. I called her a traitor. But are we so different? It was hmm. her portal that helped me. I called her a traitor. I know you had your reasons for doing what you did. There's no excuse. But I did what I did because I believed it was the right thing to do. Will you at least hear me out before making your decision? <sighs> Everyone deserves to be heard. Maybe the others won't give her that opportunity. I will base my decision on what I know and what I think is right. Not on her words. Everyone deserves speak. When I gave you the location of our base and betrayed April, I thought I was sacrificing one person to save everyone else. But many died because of my actions. This has haunted me. I have questioned my motives. Did I sell her out to save the shipment of food and medicines? Without it, many would have suffered. The old, the sickly, the children. Or did I betray the resistance to save my own skin? I would have been executed by the Azadi. I truly don't know. Perhaps it was a little of both. Perhaps things are not so black and white. We can never truly know the consequences of our actions. If you keep my secret, I can continue to help. I am of real value to the resistance, despite my crimes. Turn me in, and more will suffer. But justice, for what it's worth, will be served. It's your choice to make, Alvane, not mine. What is your decision? Oh. What will you do with me? Ah, game! <laughs> However she chooses to justify her betrayal, regardless of her import, she's important to the Resistance. Without her, they will be even weaker. I must protect her secret. Whatever the consequences. Dang it! I'll be watching you. I promise you won't regret your decision. I will live to repent my sins and serve the resistance. I'm in your debt, Alvane. Always and forever. Keep my save my life. But I may still call on you one day to do something for me. I'll be ready. Okay, so we settled that business straight away. We got ourselves a uh, ace in the hole, a uh, a uh, something, in a, a eight ball in the side pocket, as it were. I have no idea what that phrase is. I just made it up. Thank you. And an achievement. The right. The first is on her way. Has oh. she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana, it means nothing. 
The General was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Alvare. She sponsored his whole education. Light. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the resistance. <laughs> Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The Seat wants to know how the mission goes how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the Goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships. General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Oh. Yes, what of the Apostle? Uh -oh. It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. Mm. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, Mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the first mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, Mother, Alvane was a traitor. He betrayed the cause, and he... May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? <laughs> may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Oh! Now that he's... no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he'd bled out. Uh, we weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. A couple don't of bother, days. Bamon. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As oh. you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers engine. are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. The Prophet? Have Who's you the prophet? not spoken with him? Not for many months. But he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady? Vamon, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep. Mm-hmm. Is, is that the same guy that was training Kian in in, in, in the fur in, in, in the longest journey? Well, I I wonder I'm, I'm gonna check. Cause if that's the same guy, he lost the dreads. He looked good with the dreads. Meanwhile, flash of flash of oh chapter four, dreaming, and we are blind in my face with all the dark colors, and suddenly with the white in the way, hey, oh I'm blind. What's that? Oh okay, we're back with Zoe. Um. H Hello. What the hell are we doing here? You were there, Ixul Panax Brekal. We met. Excuse? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Holy! Oh, it can't. 
could that be? Abnaxus! My god, you've gotten... Actually, I can't I even remember what you look like. Wait. Is that a... a man? He doesn't look human. Oh, well, he's, he's... Well, he's not human. He's... whatever. Have we... have we met before? We will. We are meeting now. Venari Abnaxus et al. I am Abnaxus of the Venar. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Zoe of, um, the humans. Why do you feel the need to do Who's that? Who's that? Oh! He will be Ular Pala, chief of the Ular. Those who remained, children of the Purple Mountains. Okay, this is a dream, right? I am confused. It was. Uh, you uh, what? Whoa. dreamed of things else when. Oh, of Abnaxus who was. And who will soon have passed beyond the veil and into the great forgetfulness. Hey, 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 stop doing that, man. I can't keep up. In the dream, I will speak of the time that has flowed uh, <laughs> and the time that will still flow. Uh, my man, but how I... outside the dream, I will be sick. Can I, can I, um... Can I, can I, can I follow you? Oh, okay. I was like a petrified tree in the middle of a river, frozen in this moment, while time parts around me. Okay. So, where the hell? Where the hell? Okay, I'm confused. So, why am I having this dream? Yeah, that, that would you be You were needed. Achik, aksik, nabe, ajna, achik, aksik. The first dreamer needs you. The first dreamer? Who's the, the, what the? Okay, my man, you need to stop that business. Seriously, you need to stop that business. Swear to God, you just blow this this freaking warp. Where where did you go? You just walked off the side and poof, be gone. And I'm like, what the? F um, did you go this way? Did you? Where the hell did you go? It's like you just whooped off the side and then poofed that. And where the hell? Okay, so I can't go that way. And that way is obviously blocked. Um, okay. Uh, wait, now I can't go that way. Right, okay, um. Uh, he done poof be gone. Where did... Um. Uh, my man, where did you... How did he get over there so quickly? There's some sort what? of doorway into the mountain. What? Okay, um, okay, maybe there's a, like, a poof be gone over there? Yeah, ah, uh, okay. Okay, that, that hand thing, just gotta look for the hand. Oh, this what the? One is also sick. This one is dying. Looks Carmel. What? What does that mean? This one's name is Lux. This one is the first dreamer. This one is like you. Like your sister, like those who did dream and shaped reality. Uh, what? Another dreamer. Wait, that that wasn't real. That was that was just another dream. Nope. Yes. Okay, and or maybe also I don't know. Much more. We needed you to come. Um. You came. You will come here to help Lux. Everything depends on this. Everything that was, is, and will be. If this one ends, everything ends. All of time. Someone... Someone else told me the same thing. What does it mean? This one is the first dreamer. This one dreams. And the dream is the universe when the dream ends what what's happening 
Where are you going? Hey! Hey, come back! Tell me what's going on! I think he's showing you what happens if the dream ends. Which is kind of a so, kind of a scary thought that the entire universe is a dream and uh, if uh, that person wakes up, well then we're kind of boned. I don't like that idea. <gasps> hey, okay, Monday, July thirty first, twenty two twenty. Zoe, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I, oh, I was just dreaming. You were crying out in your sleep. Nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, yes, it was, and uh, no, I don't. Oh. What time is it? Time for me to leave and for you to start getting ready for your doctor's appointment. Oh, I want to sleep. Yeah, well, too bad. See you later? Uh, sure. I'll stop by the office when I'm done. Okay. Love you. Relationship <laughs> saved too. for now. Okay, because of our actions before and giving him a little bit of whatnot, we uh, saved our relationship. I'm Which not a demanding flatmate, but I did insist on buying a good bed. This is that. <laughs> I understand that completely. We need to change. Also, where, let me see this this guy. It's right out of, uh... So it is the same guy. He just got rid of the dreads. Okay, so it is the same guy. So if he can talk to him, then he can... Possibly... I have a feeling it's not going to work out anyway. What the hell is this? What's in this box? Three months now, and I still haven't unpacked most of my useless crap. Oh. Not now. Tonight. Definitely tonight. Time to roll up my shirt sleeves and get my shit together. After the Eurotrash premiere, of course. I can't miss that. Of course not. What? Of course. Tr Euro trash. I do like the sink area, but uh, look at that. Not my day to cook. Also, not the time to cook. Also, no groceries to cook with. I'm cook blocked. Had to do that. Yeah, no. Later. Of course. Of course. You're not the dishes type. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, no, I'm probably the one. I'm usually the one that does dishes, so, um. Actually, no, I'm not. Wait, I'm in the dishwasher. There we go. Boom, done. No, you gotta wash them before you put them in the dishwasher. No, I'm just gonna throw them in the dishwasher. The dishwasher cleans them. If the dishwasher don't clean the dishes, then the dishwasher needs to be tossed out and gotten a new one. That's that's all there is to that. Citizen. What? 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 What's going on here? Excuse? Where are you going? Why? Answer the question, or you will be detained. I have an appointment. The streets are unsafe. Return to your home or business to conduct your appointment remotely. I'm seeing my doctor. What is the name and business location oh. of your doctor? They have no right to ask for that information, but if I resist, they might put me on a watch list. Or worse. As far as I know, the eye has no right to interrogate me. Not unless they arrest me. Yeah, but let's not they tick the no cop right off. For that information, but if I resist, they might put me on a watch list. Or worse. Dr. Roman Zelenka. His office is in Sasadri Tower. You are Zoe Meyer Castillo, a resident of Sunshine Plaza Terraces by OCG. 
Are you asking me a question? Stay off the streets, Miss Castillo. This for your own protection. Sure it is. Proceed. Wait, wait, you freaking stormtrooper? I'm um, here to give you directions, miss. You just tell me where you want to go today. I would like to go to Dr. Roman, please. I'm going to Seshadri Tower. The tallest tower in all of Pro Pass. That'd be right here, sweetheart. Y'all come back anytime now, you hear? Okay, thank you. Uh, now we just bring up the map. And it's the, yeah, just gotta go around the corner here. Okay, so I'm, I'm slightly uh, worried there. Why are they, uh, why are they trying to detain her? I think those are meant to represent reaching for the sun or maybe playing basketball. One of the two. Actually, it kind of looks like the marker from Dead Space. And y'all know how I feel about that business. We won't get into that. Hey, officers, how you doing? Just coming right through here. Let's give me officer. You know. Okay. Uh, can't go this way. Is there another way I can go up? And see, that's the direct route. But why the hell? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna have to take the long way around. It seems. They're shutting down entire streets now. Stay safe. Stay inside. No, let's not even. What the hell? Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay connected to your dream machine. Okay, what the hell? Everything's gone to, to uh, um. Okay, uh, can I go this way? Off. Oh, hey, hey. hey, officer, stormtrooper. No, stop. Uh, what? A uh, space marine? So it looked like stormtrooper. Okay, maybe I can go this way. Maybe. Can I take the long butt way around this freaking mess of a place? Okay, so I'm not going down that way. Okay, what the hell's go- Okay, what in the Sam Hill's going on? Seriously, okay, what the hell is going on? Why is everything gone to- Seized. Okay, that's not good. Also, the uh, singer who's normally around isn't... I hated his music, but... Uh, yeah, this is concerning. Okay, maybe I can... Uh-oh. Okay, can I go the other way, maybe? I just need to get to my doctor's office. I have an appointment. I have an appointment with the doctor. Can I go see my doctor? Can I go this way? Ah, yes. Tita Gross. Okay, uh... Oh, I can go up this way, good. Okay, what in the Sam Hill is going on here? Hey, oh, hey, officer, how you doing? What's going on? Okay, it's the crap that stupid robot broke. That was uh, awesome to see. I'm saying is the acquisition will go through. We're making damn sure of it. Okay. Okay, we're about to head to... Oh. Okay, this is, um... That's, um, concerning there. Uh... Things are getting worse. So, we're gonna go see our doctor here, but obviously some story's about to happen here. And she is obviously gonna be upset. I think her cart's, oh God, her cart's freaking gone. Oh yeah, she's gonna be mad. So what's gonna happen? Why is the eye suddenly uh, gone all uppity like they're the freaking Azadi? Hmm. Find out next time on The Big Man Plays Dreamfall Chapter. Still in Big Fatty Plus. Hi, Nora. And, um... Yeah, things are getting a little, uh, Crazy, a little hectic, a little worrisome, a little, uh... There's about to be a problem in there.
The Iron Sky watches so you don't have to. Help us help you. Stay inside and comply.